Alrighty, so today's conspiracy theory video is going to cause great divide, where two parks in the Cedar Fair chain battle it out to see whom will reign America's next top park. <laughs> I'm kidding. This ain't that kind of a video. So today I'm going to entertain the idea that I've heard around the internet about Cedar Point being out of room and growth potential. Along with that, Kings Island down the road may become the flagship park. Cedar Island coming to the Ohio State in 2030. I'm kidding. Anyways, so for me, I stand strongly on one side of this argument, but we will get to that at the end of the video. For those that don't know and are new to these videos, you've just clicked onto an Amusement Insider's Conspiracy Theory video. So every Monday, I take a controversial topic from the internet or group chat and play devil's advocate and talk about all sides of the argument. After I'm done doing that, I give my personal opinion on the subject matter, and then you guys comment down below whether I'm a complete idiot or not. <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, comment down below what you think, and don't worry, we all have different opinions, and that's totally okay. So let's get ourselves back on topic and start with, is Cedar Point out of room or close to being out of room? So the answer, in my opinion, is, well, yeah, kind of. But see, things are never as simple as they seem. We all tend to jump right onto the no more room for growth bandwagon when looking at parks. Yes, parks may have advertised on investor pages that all the acreage is used up, but that doesn't translate into we have no more room for expansion. And as you'll learn later, Cedar Point is definitely not one of those parks that are entirely out of room for expansion. I'll talk about that a little more in detail. So yes, we can all easily look at Cedar Point and cringe at how landlocked it is, but a lot of seasonal parks fall into this category. There's a ton of options open for parks that are landlocked to growth and to expand, and Cedar Point is one of them that has a ton of open doors in terms of possibilities. Now, the part where it gets difficult is the fact that Cedar Point is the roller coaster capital of the world and will continue to build massive coasters that take up a ton of space. So using the open options, we'll end up running them short on available options. So what does Cedar Fair do? Well, this is the question circulating on the interwebs. What will Cedar Fair do when Cedar Point runs out of land and expansion room? They have the resorts, they have the sporting facilities, and they most certainly have the roller coasters. But what will happen when they have no more no more land to grow? Well, that's an interesting topic of discussion because if you look here, it says they have 110 acreage available for expansion. A lot of people are like, well, where is that acreage? Well, it's not on the island. So the land that they're talking about is land that they're purchasing off of um, the peninsula. I believe it's actually just right when you're starting to drive onto the peninsula. It's where there used to be kind of like smaller hotels or motels and a few restaurants. So that's the acreage they're talking about. They're buying up more land. Um, they bought out that old airport, turned it into a sporting facility. They're talking about that land. But there is still land available in Cedar Point, but running out of that land is going to happen very quickly. That's the point I'm trying to make, and that's the point that a lot of people are aware of too. But regardless of that, there are options available. We see other parks doing it, and Cedar Fair is no different than any other technical theme park or amusement park. They will find a way around things in the end. So, well, this is probably where I should insert the King's Island backstory into this conspiracy theory. Lately, online, I've been hearing a lot of conversation on King's Island's 2020 Giga, Strata, Flying, RMC conversion of Son of Beast, which is totally believable, by the way. I'm kidding. And a lot of people are beginning to see potential in Kings Island as the new top dog if things go south at Cedar Point. This is where things get really complicated. So Kings Island is a park with a ton of land and growth potential in terms of being able to pull it off. The only problem you ask? Well, from the investor standpoint, Ohio hasn't shown much potential for year-over-year -year growth in the last couple of years. And it's not like a major city expansion is occurring anywhere in the Ohio State like you see at other parks in the chain. Well, that doesn't mean they're not going to see an expansion or they're not up for an expansion because of that. 
as you'll see, Kings Island in our, our next slide coming up, Kings Island is actually one of those parks that is starting to show some sort of growth. So what would draw Cedar Fair's eye to Kings Island? One, you have the land opportunity for expansion and hotels. 350 acreage available for expansion, that's a lot. Two, it's closer to larger populations, thus events like Winterfest, which, ha which has a huge success at Kings Island, as you see here, um, are possible. And three, we are already seeing some sort of expansion work taking place with very frequent investments and a rumored 2020 major coaster. There are a few reasonings to also be on the defense on this idea, and they all stem around the concept that Ohio as a whole hasn't shown much year-over-year -year growth rates, as we just discussed. The two parks have lacked in growing attendance figures recently. In fact, so much so that even with massive additions, they don't see the same growth increase like other parks experience. I'll know more tomorrow after the stockholders call and release a separate video on that as well. Regardless of the growth rates at the Ohio parks, you can rest assured that Cedar Fair will never give up on those parks. They're extremely valuable to the greater picture and still mass produce great income for the chain. A business never gives up on parks after just a couple seasons of bad fortune. I actually see a lot of potential in Kings Island and Cedar Point, and Cedar Fair just needs to break this curse of bad fortune, for a better word. Um, so at the end of the day, I truly stand on the side of confused. I really do. So this is where I was saying it gets difficult. So I honestly feel confused by this theory as it's plausible. And in fact, it's so plausible. I just entirely see the two parks being elite parks in Ohio, both with hotels and resorts, both expanding at an equal rate and neither getting the shaft in terms of investments. However, 2020 will be the tell all year. Will Cedar Point get the massive coaster? Will Kings Island get the massive coaster? Or will both parks get the massive coaster? I want you guys to comment down below which park or parks you think will see coasters in 2020 for Cedar Fair and what you think about this conspiracy theory. Some truth to it, completely false? Comment below what you think and don't be shy to drag the theory. Remember, these aren't amusement insiders theories or concepts. These are merely discussion we see online and we try to understand them and speculate on them. So for a recap, to go over a couple of the um, concepts of the theory, people are suggesting that Cedar Point is out of land and there's nothing they can do. And hopefully this video helped counter that. So as you saw, Cedar Point does still have land available. They have around 110 acreage. And yes, it may not be all on property, but there is still land available. People have been suggesting that Kings Island with recent investments and the amount of acreage available could be the next top dog park. And yes, that is very plausible too. But what better way to conquer Ohio or set like your flag in the ground of the roller coaster capital in the world of the world than to have two major parks in the same state attracting people to visit both parks. In fact, if you go to Cedar Point's website, you can buy tickets now to go to both Kings Island and Cedar Point with like a two day ticket, which is actually actually very genius. And it kind of shows you that Cedar Point or Cedar Fair isn't going, well, Cedar Point is our major park and they're so close together. Let's just invest in Cedar Point. No, Kings Island is definitely going to get investments as well. Two, you have the whole argument of, you know, Kings Island having more land, Kings Island showing sl a slight more um, ability to grow their attendance than Cedar Point. That's kind of hinting at like Kings Island becoming the better park. Will Kings Island get a hotel? Kings Island um, is getting dorms or it's rumored to be getting dorms. So there's a lot of talk going around all those subjects that refer to Kings Island becoming the better park. And I don't know about you guys. I, I do honestly see both parks being major parks. Right now, Kings Island is nowhere close to being as good of a park as Cedar Point. But that's not to say that down the road, they won't be anywhere close. Again, if Cedar Point is running out of room, they're not going to be able to build those massive coasters that go out and back like they currently do and it's at this point in the video where i wrap things up and honestly thanks so much for watching today's conspiracy video i really hope you enjoyed this one it's very controversial and i totally understand that don't forget to leave conspiracy theory ideas down below for us to cover in future videos as we move out of cedar point theories and don't forget to ring that notification bell to stay up to date on all of our content
Don't forget, every Monday we release a conspiracy theory video. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video to get others talking about this conspiracy theory. Thanks for watching guys, and have an amazing night. Bye!